Well, hello there, people of the internet. So, do you have an old PC like this piece of crap or the Tetra 9000? And you think that Windows 10 or Windows 8 or Windows 7 is simply too much for that old PC? Solution? Well, if you're thinking Windows XP or Windows Millennium, no, that's not the solution. What you need is Lubuntu. And what is Lubuntu, my wonder? Well, it's a light version of Ubuntu. And what the hell is Ubuntu? It's a distro of Linux. A version of Linux, if you will. Yes, that's right, for your old PC, we will be using Lubuntu. And don't get scared, when you hear Linux, Lubuntu, Lubuntu, people immediately think about a terminal and nothing else. Lubuntu is very user friendly and it's again, it's really lightweight, for, it's made for really potato PC. And today, or tonight, I'm gonna talk about it. First of all, the setup. The operating system is open source and it's free, so you can download it from the official website. All you need is a USB pen drive with 4 gigabytes or more, and a PC that's made in the last 10-15 years or so, like half a gig of RAM and a Pentium 3, Pentium 4. That's kind of the minimum I would recommend. But anything about that, you're balling. So once you do copy the installation to your USB pen drive and you do boot to the setup process, it's pretty simple, just mash next a few times. However, Keep in mind, if you want, you can select dual boot. It does support dual boot, you don't have to do anything, just select dual boot and it'll do its thing. However, it can take almost an hour for it to set up the dual boot. However, once it does, it doesn't create any other additional partitions, it doesn't do anything. All it does is when you do turn on your PC, you have a nice little menu to choose Ubuntu or Windows. Also keep in mind, if you do select to wipe the entire drive, it will not wipe the partition. It will delete all partitions and everything on those partitions. So I made that mistake, I said, oh well, I'm just gonna format C and leave all my data on D drive. Boy, was I disappointed. It wiped the entire drive. Luckily, I didn't have anything important on the disk, so eh. I didn't have a lot of issues. However, the first time I was installing it on Potato Try 9000, I did have a weird issue with Wi-Fi, sometimes it did work, but mostly it didn't work. So I just reinstalled the entire operating system and it was all good to go. The first boot does take quite a while and in general every boot after that it does take some time, about a minute to boot. However, from what I've noticed, every time you boot it kind of goes just a bit faster. I think it caches somewhere, puts in the cache memory in the operating system. It doesn't boot fast, keep that in mind, it takes a while. So, once you do get to the desktop, what do you see? Well, a user interface that looks a lot like Windows. And it's really customizable, you'd be surprised just how much customization there is. When I installed Ubuntu, I was kinda aiming for a Windows 98 theme, but eh, I just lost the world and gave up on it. What do you get? Well, you get a lot of apps preloaded. You get Firefox, which is Quite nice, a lot of people still use Firefox, I don't really use Firefox, I use Chrome, but it's there. You can download from official Google's Chrome site, the official version of Google Chrome for Ubuntu for Linux. It's literally just easy as installing it, downloading it, double click and install next, next, next and you have Google Chrome. That's super cool! You get a lot of other apps, a simple replacement for Microsoft Excel and a simple replacement for Microsoft Word and a calculator app, calendar app, some stuff like that. And you also get Transmission, which is an app for torrenting, if you're into that sort of stuff, I guess. And another big bonus is you get some kind of an app store, where you can download a lot of different apps. Not a whole lot, but it's there, you can download some good apps, for example, I download Codeblocks, and general a lot of apps and games that are usable. If you don't want to use a built-in Excel and Word replacements, you can download your own, or, just like me, use Docs online from Google. And if you do not want Google Chrome, you can download Chromium, which is basically Google Chrome Lighter. While we're still around the App Store, you can get OTA system updates for that. It's a free operating system, it's open source, and it still gets active updates. It's really cool. And another cool thing is, Windows, Windows 10 at least, an idle, use around 1GB of RAM. Depends on how much RAM you have, but around 1GB. Lubuntu uses about 200MB of RAM on idle, leaving whatever memory you have left for whatever you want. However, keep in mind, this will not transform your PC into a monster. 
a Pentium 4 is still a Pentium 4. A Core 2 Duo is still a Core 2 Duo, if you get what I'm saying. But again, you can tell the difference that PC is breathing a bit easier, especially if you have really low-end specs like a Geek 2 a Fram, a Pentium 4, a Core 2 Duo. You really will be able to tell the difference. But if you really want to learn Linux or Ubuntu, you do have a terminal. Just don't be an idiot like me and forget your pseudo password, the super user do password. Basically an admin, an admin password. Don't forget that, don't be stupid like me. As far as gaming, well, chances are if you have this much of a potato PC, you can't really run any games, but if you want, you can find some Mac but if you want, you can find some Linux version of some of your favorite games or install Steam and if you have some games in your library that can run on Linux, hey, good for you. Otherwise, eh, not really meant for game. So in conclusion, Lubuntu, is it good? Hell yeah, it's really good. Again, I use it on Potatra 9000 for a while and it really does make a difference. However, the only reason I had to switch back to Windows 7 on that PC or that piece of crap is because I had to give that laptop to my mother and I really didn't want to explain how it all works so I just went back to Windows 7 all she needs is Microsoft Office so yeah thank you thank you guys so much for watching if you do try a bit let me know in the comments below follow me on Twitter and please do make sure to like and subscribe and I'll be seeing you peace